believe in kitchen parties, not raves. I believe in icebergs and blue stars, and that the puffin is a true proud and noble bird. Now, scuff is a dance, and in Newfoundland, India, is beer. And it's pronounced Newfoundland, not Newfoundland or New Finland. Newfoundland is the oldest settlement in North America, the youngest province in North America, and the only rock you can party on. My name's Skipper Lukey. I uh, is a Newfoundland. Except there was a man by the name of John Cat. His real name was Giovanni Caboto. He was an Italian explorer. You know him as John Cat because the English paid for his travels, and that's just how it had to be. 1497, John Cat had sailed the Atlantic on his boat to Matthew, all the way from Bristol, England to Bonavista Bay. And when he arrived, he saw lots of activity in our water. But he didn't know what was going on. But he dropped his bucket down and filled it up with water. And when he came up to the top of the boat, it was filled right to the rim with codfish. Now, word got out fast how plentiful the fish were in our waters, that they traveled from all over to settle here and to catch, salt, and trade the fish all around the world as a means of surviving his feet. Oh, and weighed as much as 130 pounds. <laughs> this fish will not grow any more than this because it's dead. <laughs> it's frozen. And it fits perfectly in my freezer. The significance of this particular fish, why I love it so much, is that my 12-year-old daughter, now 13, she caught it last year in Conception Bay on July the 16th. And when she saw what was happening to all the other fish that day, getting gutted and filleted and losing their cheeks and tongues to the restaurants, she wanted this fish, this one, to become the most loved fish ever come out of the world. <laughs> and it has, because I've used it in every ceremony. <laughs> I do need everybody to pucker up and just give this fish a little kiss. Okay. The conversation you're ever going to hear between two people goes like this. Arn smart? Narn. That is a full conversation. I don't expect you to understand what it means right away. I'm going to explain it to you. In order to understand it, you have to envision two fishing vessel captains crossing each other in the early morning gun. And one fishing vessel captain looks over at the other fishing vessel captain and says, Iron Smurn! And the translation is, did you catch any fish this morning? <laughs> and the response, on the response, Narn, any idea what that might have meant? No. no. Close. It means, no, I didn't catch any fish this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said, no, we speak English. <laughs> I'm going to try to teach you something a little bit easier, and that's a -Y. Not to be confused with yes by, because yes by has 20 different meanings in Newfoundland, okay? Okay, a by has one, and it means I agree. Now, whenever you're in a situation where you're talking to someone from Newfoundland, you don't understand what you're saying because you're talking too fast and a little bit too deep. Just agree with them. And in order to do that in Newfoundland, you go, A by. Now, in Canada, you might say, Indeed I am. But in Newfoundland, we just say, Deed I is. So I need everybody to say, Deed I is at the count of three. One, two, three. Deed I is. Part of the phrase is me old cock. Now, cock, oh, wait, this is not great. Six <laughs> Cock is a shortened form of the word cockney, which comes over from Old England, meaning my good friend, my good buddy. So what you're saying is, yes, I am my good friend, but you're going to say, deed I is me old cock. At the count of three. One, two, three. Deed I is me old cock. Not my old cock, Rick, it's me old cock. My old cock. Last word of the phrase. The last word of the phrase is that long may your big gym drop. See, the gin is the force sale in the schooner, so as long as it's dry and wind, you know, you go to wish for good luck. What you're saying is, yes, I'm a good friend, wish for good luck. You're going to say, he gives me old cock and mom, may being gin drunk. Got it? Got it. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Once again, the correct response is, hey, bye. I'm teaching you lessons, folks, and I'm trying to give you immediate applications on how to use it. It's the same learning process that they use in Rosetta Stone. It's very fast. <laughs> Uh, we're going to say that you're going to say it, and we're going to get through it together in three simple segments, okay? I say it, then you say it. Ready? Deed I is. Deed I is. Me old cock. Me old cock. And long may your big jib draw. And long may your big jib draw. I now declare you all honorary Newfoundland. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>